all my lovely YouTubers, this is Loquacious One coming at you with a video on how I maintain my winter parched dry skin. This is in no way advice for how to maintain your skin. It is simply things that I do to keep my skin maintained in this very harsh, brutal winter weather that I am experiencing. It is a frigid four degrees where I'm at. And this is my medical disclaimer. I'm not a medical practitioner, a dermatologist, or esthetician. This is simply things that I do to maintain my skin. Your skin is different than mine. Mine is different than yours. I would suggest that you see a medical practitioner, a dermatologist, or an expert uh, trained esthetician if you have any skin care condition or medical problems. So let us begin. What is dry skin? Dry skin is skin that lacks moisture or is it devoid of moisture? And uh, what can cause that? It could be something simple as environment. Well, it's winter. So there is little moisture in the air. There is brutal cold wind and snow. So these things will take moisture out the skin. That is why when you go in in the winter time and you walk across the carpet you experience static electricity because there is a lack of moisture inside your house because you are using heating apparatuses to heat the home so that being said you have to restore the moisture how do you restore the moisture environmentally well if it's outside all you can do is create a barrier with a uh, moisturizing product and covering your face and your extremities if you're inside you want to add moisture to the air and you can do that by simmering a pan of water on low you can add uh, lemons oranges cloves cinnamon um, nutmeg uh, different types of aromatic spices like allspice ginger and this can give a aromatherapy type effect uh, you can also add a couple of drops of essential oil. Again, do the research on what works for you and that you will not have a reaction to anything. You might want to, if you're watering your plants, to overfill the water tray so the water can slowly evaporate out. Or you could put a couple of ice cubes on top of the plant and let it melt slowly. Um, if the, none of those... Uh, or to your liking, you can buy a portable humidifier. They're sold in mass discounters uh, like Amazon, drugstore.com, Dwayne Reed, Walgreens, uh, CVS, Rite Aids, Target, Walmart, what have you. You can buy, buy them in a number, numerous amount of places. You can get them on sale. Make sure you keep them clean. Clean them once a week. If it is suggested, you can use a little mild bleach and water. Check the manual as well as you want to change the filter regularly because you don't want to experience respiratory diseases. Next to that, you're going to want to ingest it. And by ingesting, I mean drinking water. Go to Dollar Tree or whoever gets you one of the really cute BPA attractive uh, water containers and fill it with purified water. If you find it hard to drink water, because some of us it's hard to, you might want to cut up fruits like oranges, lemons, in it um strawberries what have you again do the research because some of those uh we can't take because we have medical issues check with your dietitian and your medical practitioner okay i wouldn't suggest the water enhancers but they do have them because some of them but check the label might contain artificial sugars and real sugars which can be harmful to you and you don't want to add that you're trying to beautify detoxify restore and rejuvenate so we want something pure do not use artificial or even regular sugars if you do I, I use at least stevia sometime but that's very very rare I just drink the water you can replace one cup of water with tea but again know that tea has a effect on your body so if you have any medical condition taking medicine whatever consult your medical practitioner or your dietitian okay you might want to eat it and when i say eat it you want to eat salads that are filled full of vegetables or you might want to ingest fruit as a snack as opposed to the chips and candy we have and ice cream so uh, water laden fruits are like watermelon cantaloupe honeydew melons the berries you know cucumbers uh, leafy vegetables things that are good for us that add other nutritional properties as well okay that being said we got to cleanse 
Okay, so we're going to adjust our routine. First of all, we're going to adjust the water temperature. We're not going to use hot water that's very dehydrating. We're going to use tepid to warm water. We're going to adjust the amount of times that we cleanse. If you're cleansing three times a day, that might be too much. You want to might cut down to one to two. If you're cleansing one to two, you might want to cut down to one. If you're really dry, you might want to cleanse with a cleanser that's creamy one day that you can tissue off and then cleanse with a water cleansing the next day. Again, consult an esthetician that experience in your types of skin or your dermatologist as to what's best for you and the products that you use. This, what I'm saying, I'm going to reiterate it, works for me, may not work for you. Okay, so we got a water. We're going to start a cleansing routine. One of the things I do, I like this gentle skin clean cleanser. It says for all skin types, it gentle, gentle formula softens the cleanse. It's great for daily removal compared to Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. I just use it as a cleanser. I actually cleanse my makeup all first with a product specifically for makeup because i wear heavy eye makeup and makeup on my face i don't think this is heavy enough but if you wear nothing but lipstick or whatever it might do the job but i cleanse my skin really really well and i use this or um i like in the winter i i use cetaphil in the summer i will use this cerave hydrating cleanser it um has ceramides in it and it's non-comogenic and it has uh, good things in it for I think aging skin okay now that I'm cleansing you have to manipulate the cleanser sometime because your hands may not be sufficient I don't use washcloths or anything on my hand but if I'm removing makeup I will use something like this by April bath and shower I got it from Dollar Tree is exfoliating facial sponge. It's two in a pack. That's 50 cent a piece. It works well to really, really, you know, get that grunge off. We used to call them Buff Puffs in the day, and there is a brand called Buff Puff, but this is not it. This is less expensive, but in my opinion, does the job just as well. If I don't have makeup on, I'll use this facial cleanser brush, and it's really cute. It is a clear handle, but it also comes in pink and blue, and it also has a cover do not use this forever uh, first you have to cleanse it regular and then kind of disinfect it I disinfect mine uh, once a week and then if it gets flimsy in any occasion throw it away you know and I would do that and um, I might use you have to just if you exfoliate if you exfoliate with these two that might be enough for you but if it isn't because you wear a lot of makeup I like clean and clear. They have like a clean burst. It's like a citrus type of cleanser with rounded type beads. I like that in particular. They might be other brands or I'll just make a sugar scrub that works for me. But whatever you use, be very careful. It doesn't contain walnut or ap walnut shell powder or apricot seeds or any kind of seeds that have multi-surfaces on the um, seed or product itself because these are braid the skin cause tears in the skin and can cause damage and it makes your skin real sensitive and can really damage it so be careful when you use exfoliating products but other than that these should suffice um if you want to add more i like first of all uh, i'm a i'm a refreshing person i freshen and tone but i don't use alcohol contented products if you do make sure it's really low low alcohol so i like witch hazel i got this witch hazel from dollar tree it was a dollar and i put it in this uh, dispenser bottle that has a flip top and you simply put a pad on top and you pump this top right here and it dispenses the product i like that and i sweep it over my face till my face appears clean or sometime if i have a little breakout or what have you i use this assured hydrogen peroxide it has its own applicator spray applicator that i got from dollar tree it's one dollar love it so I'm cleansing it. Then after that, I am going into my uh, moisturizing routine. And what I do is I use a little uh, atomizer bottle. You can also buy these um, uh, water atomizers that are specifically for facial care. Um, this, I just put purified water in these um, little travel bottles that I got from Dollar Tree. It comes in a set of three. And I simply squirt my face with it. You can put a drop if you want to of essential oils. If you do aromatherapy or you study oils, again, I'm not advising. Do the research. Ask your skin care practitioner what would be good to use. You just Water is good enough, but if you just want a little oomph, you can. Or you can even add a drop of vitamin E oil. 
if you're really, really dry. Again, ask your skincare expert. Once I do that, it's time to moisturizer. You got specific moisturizers for specific purposes, such as uh, eye creams. You got uh, lip moisturizers. You got neck creams, decollete creams. And let me tell you, folks, this advice I'm giving you, it applies from the top of my head to my neck down to my decollete. When you cleanse, folks, okay, also cleanse behind your ears, inside your ears, cleanse your eyebrows if you wear a lot of eyebrow makeup, especially because you tend to forget that sometimes, as well as under your eyelashes really good. And you want to cleanse under your chin and down your neck, the back of your neck, and your decollete, which is your upper chest area. Those are all part of the facial skin region. Okay, and we're going to again moisturize. You can use the eye cream. You can simply lightly pat the eye cream, The um, excuse me, the moisturizer that you're going to use under your eye at the least. Some people use Vaseline. Uh, some people use um, uh, a specific eye cream because you might have lines, bags, dark circles. Again, that's up to you. Vitamin E oil, people use that. Some people use castor oil. Again, I am not one to advise. But after I miss my face, I'm going to put on my eye products. I like this vitamin E oil to seal in my product. I use it as a sealer. It's 4000 I use. I got it from Dollar General. It was 2000 They have many brands, and the stores even carry their own generic brand. Okay, um, a moisturizer that I like. This is a plain one. It's CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for normal to dry skin with uh, MVE Delivery Technology. Now, getting on the subject that there are many you could use. I'm not going to even tell you, begin to tell you what to use. Because that's a personal choice. But I will say this. If you use a moisturizer for daytime. I use this at night mainly. Because it doesn't have SPF. You need an SPF at least 15 or more. If you're going out in the sun. If you wear makeup. Makeup on your face foundation. That is a, a barrier. But it is not a very good one. But it is some. You need um uh, SPF or a sunblock or sunscreen as your skincare expert. Uh, if you are African American or dark complexion, you automatically, that's the great thing, the melanin contents of your skin, you have an SPF built in of SPF 15 already, but you still need a SPF. Okay, you still need sunscreen to block. You're not prone for melanoma or other skin cancers. Uh, another thing I put on my lips I like and I recommend you do this, but I do use lip moisturizer. They have all of them. I mean, I buy a whole ton of them. I got a whole drawer full of them. Stick, squeeze tube. I don't like the jar because it's dipping my finger in. It's kind of ilk. But whatever suits your purpose. And I use petroleum jelly at night. This is one I simply got from the Dollar Tree. It says it's 100% pure, uh, paraben-free. And I just use it because it works. And I've been using it forever and love it. I even put it on my face if I'm going out for heavy activities such as skiing or something like that because it helps the wind and protects it from the wind. If you have a little bit more money you want to spend, you can use a product called Aquaphor, which is more cosmetically appealing than this. But this does fine too. Now, after I do all that, understand we were talking about nutrition. Make sure you take a good vitamin. I'm not recommending this brand. This is what I picked up at Dollar Tree because it's immune support and it has uh, multivitamins in it and I like it. It was a dollar and the Dollar Tree is nine to ten dollars. So this was a good deal. That's why I got it. Again, ask your dietitian what they recommend. Men and women have different needs. Children have different needs as well as nutritional requirements. So ask someone that knows. For my throat, I, ooh, ooh, I use this Ricola Dual Action. It has honey and lemon. And I just use it to keep my my throat soothed so I don't develop a cold. I also will sometimes use these hauls. Triple Action Melon Splash that I got both. Of, I got this from Dollar Tree and got the Ricola. It was $0.94 cent from Walmart. Okay. And folks, that is about it. That's all. And like I said, 
this is loquacious one coming at you with a information video only on things that i use for my dry winter part skin i hope that you are enjoying this weather and that you will subscribe to my channel